hey, forgive me the sloppiness. I don't do this on my phone. So I've got it horizontal this time. And I'm live. I am not, let me see, I'm using my data. So I'm going to try to move slow and see how this works. I, I'm not hooked up to their Wi-Fi. Mm, I got some lot done. And I'm just going to chit chat for a minute until anybody who wants to do this remembers to come back. Notifications go out. I won't be doing my 6 o'clock sale tonight. I'm just going to do this, show you some things in my booth. You guys can claim something if you want. And I'll add it to the, my cart and take it home and put it in your boxes. Okay? So let's wait for notifications to go out. I might have an issue with the music. Let me think about that. There's a speaker right between my boots, but I'm not monetizing this, so it should, I don't know, we'll see what happens. So some of you will recognize things from my Thrift With Me videos, the lenticular, those are so cute. Let's see, some things that you might not have seen. Okay, go ahead and holler at me. Yes, I have power, I have Pioneer Woman in my booth. It's come a long story. I'm not going to make a habit out of it. Here's something you might not have seen. I would be a little worried about shipping. Hi, Sky. We'll just do an impromptu since I'm not going to go do my sale tonight. I'm just going to do this for a few moments. Real fun. Give you guys something. But I will bring something home if you... <laughs> Hi, Cher. I'm doing okay. I probably won't have a live sale next Monday either. You guys know the 18th and the 19th I'll be in the hospital. So I will have my husband post when I come out of anesthesia. So you guys, those of you that, you know, worry a little bit, I understand. I do when my friends go under. The surgery is not that big of a deal. But yeah, anytime you go under, you know, it's kind of good to know when your friends are out of anesthesia. <laughs> Right? Okay, so um, I'm watching the chat. Hang on, I'm watching the chat. I'm using my phone, you guys. I'm watching the chat. Holler at me if there's something you want to see the price. I'll give you a discount. I'll take it home. I'll add it to your box. So I'm just going to show you guys stuff. And this will be in lieu of the sale tonight. I have to play a lot of catch up. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. This one's crazy. So, you guys just holler at me. You see something you want me to pause on. Some things have been here forever. You've seen them a million times. I don't know why this hasn't sold. Maybe now that the 80s, 90s, because, you know, I jumped on that a little early. Maybe this will finally find a home. It's so cute. Little Art Nouveau. <laughs> George says hi. I thought he was in Mexico. Are you in Mexico too, Lena? <laughs> yeah, you guys, not to be tacky, you guys know, some some of you know, it's just a hysterectomy. So, and so many of you have said, had one, easy breezy, best thing I ever did, then I am not worried at all. So, looking forward to it, looking forward to no more pain. Let's see, um... I added these just because I liked them. Be honest. I kept one for myself. I found two. And hey, girl, I thought that was cute. But I don't do a lot of the Ray Dunn resale. The cookies. You guys might remember that. I was like, all those canisters. And I'm like, nope. Except for the cookies. Yes, I'll buy the cookies. <laughs> so I brought that in. If you're a Starbucks fan, this is a Jonathan Adler collab. So it's a little bit. It costs a little more than your average tumbler, but even so, I've only got 22 on it. And I'll give you guys a deal, don't worry. My hands are dry, you guys. I've been working, washing stuff and working for hours. Guns and coffee, I've got a 14. Starbucks take. Here is a vintage looking Starbucks. Now it's not vintage, it's just got the vintage vibes. There's the mermaid. There's if you have schnauzers in Starbucks, if you have a schnauzer, got a Christmas leftover. I like this one. Reminds me of my Borealli Rocco that I use at home. That's a pretty tumbler. Let's see. 
I keep my smiley face stuff stopped. It does pretty well. I broke off a nail. Yeah, I got one nail missing, but that's okay. They've been, these have been on for what? Like, hang on, let me put them in the light. These green, purple, blue ones from Kiss. Ah, oh, I love those. This is one of my favorites. They've been on for what, two and a half weeks. All right, you guys, I'm trying to watch the chat. So tell me if there's something that you want me to look at. Okay, there's all the Hager. Sold a big piece of Hager a couple weeks ago. I'll go around to the front. The rainbow stuff, I only sold half of it. So I just kind of moved things around. These are really cool, though. These are hand handmade right there. And uh, these are by Block. That's a little bit better home decor brand. Okay. I don't... Some things... You know, I, I'm a little out of mainstream so I do have to be careful because sometimes the things I pick are a little bit more like limited like appeal so to speak you know because they might not be real mainstream item let's see I need to get some more pins in here this is a pier one I can definitely mark that down it's really pretty it's a good piece of glass it's pier one import Slightly vintage, let's say retro. I've got it at 40, but it's been a while. But it's ombre, pink to orange. Really pretty. And there's some vintage if you're into the mermaid theme or Hollywood Regency. That's a pretty optic glass right there. Hi. <laughs> it's okay, babe. You want to say hi to the... I'm live. You want to say hi to the peoples? <laughs> Come on, new girl. Come say hi to the people. Hey, you guys, we have a new assistant. Her name is, hang on, I'm learning it, Ro. Morea. Morea. <laughs> She's new, so if you come here, she'll help you with something. If you just ask her, she'll be wandering around with the other people. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's a real pretty optic piece right there. I've got 58 on it. That's a gorgeous piece there. That is a lid, so it's got a little compartment. I've got it at 40, so all these can come down. I think that's a Blanco. I went ahead after much consideration and put Blanco on it. I'm really careful about that, but I think I'm all right. Um, I better not say that I don't want to ship. It wouldn't make it. Oh, look at these modern urns. These are super cool. $38, aren't they pretty? Something you get like a sofa mart or something, but they're beautiful if you like the matchy matchy. Any flower peanut butter glasses? I girl, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> You're not telling me what that means. I've got a retro Mackenzie's child lamp, the tea lamp. You have to get your own shade. I'm willing to ship that. It's at 38. Let's see. This is Costa Boda. That's cool. You get both of them. That's a cute set. 36 for both of them. One of them still has a tag. Yeah, Costa Boda. That's pretty. You guys, again, don't look at my hands. I did moisturize them before I turned my camera on, but I have been working so hard trying to you know, prepare for taking a week off. This is metal. My cards. Okay. Peanut butter. Wow, okay, I just don't know. I love this. I already offered that to you guys once in the train to Trippyville. I don't know what this is. Long life wide mouth for growing a certain kind of herb. I've got eight dollars on it. Can use it to catch bugs, I guess. Don't want to ship that, you guys, because not that I'm a sissy about shipping, it's just I don't want things to break. Does anybody like the metal atomic? And if you're watching this later, you'd have about 18 hours to leave me a message before I come back tomorrow for my last, oh, there's my coffee, <laughs> there's my coffee, before I come back tomorrow for the last time I'll be here in like a week and a half, okay, to pull something. Hang on. Can you put fireflies in that jar? Yes. Now it's amber, 
Oh my gosh. See, I live in Colorado now, and I haven't seen fireflies since I've been back to Pennsylvania. But I grew up with fireflies in Ohio. We used to catch them. Long life amber glass jar with mesh sprout lid. Oh, I must have looked it up for growing sprouts. Anyways, I miss them too. This is so cute. When you're a kid, oh my gosh, at night. And the fire, oops, that was my coffee. And the fireflies light up the sky. Hang on, I just spilled coffee all over my showcase. Hang on, you guys. <laughs> I know, this is a hot mess. But this is in lieu of my sale tonight, and I probably won't have one tomorrow. I'm taking this home. And I just put this here so people wouldn't bother it while I do a sale. These are gorgeous. Burlap, and then kind of like tattoo art on some kind of um bamboo those are cool and that's a cool art piece the colors there's a vintage pepsi cola i'm trying to watch the chat you might have to leave a comment and then i can pick it up tomorrow this is a little bit hard <laughs> i love this this is vintage retro vintage it's lenticular. Now, it's not the best lenticular, but it is still. This one's got a little bit more lenticulation going on, if that's even a word. Oh, I've had this forever. I got it real cheap. And I thought, okay, I'm going to see if somebody wants this. But it has been forever. So that's about what they go for online is like 125 I marked it down to 58 It's time for some things to go. Okay, let me show you this, because somebody might like this. This is pretty. Look at this needlework. Isn't that pretty? The cherry blossom. Oh, where's the tag? Okay, that's why it's not selling. It doesn't have a tag. I'll make a tag for it before I go. I'm probably going to put like 36 on it. But less for you guys. Okay, Fostoria and Viking Jamestown. Those weigh a ton. They would make it, but they weigh a ton. This might be something easier for you just to go to a market yourself and try to find one because shipping would be crazy. All right, let me back out of here. Hi, Sean. Hi, hi. All right, let's see. Um, if any of you are fans of this Instagram influencer, Alexis Raycon. This is some of her art. It's a print. That's her there. I think she might do TikTok too. This is very current. Okay, she's taking a bubble bath. Finding my purpose. Smoking a, a hookah or CBD or something. I'm listening to her iPad. Um, you know, just all the things that are current. Who am I? Whoops. Intentional living. Hang on. Let me get that back up there. Okay. Let's see, there's her cat, CBD soap, how, how something going to live in love, compassionate, confidence. Okay, crystals, some hot cosmic tea. Let's see, things to do, clean my room, go to work, make art. To be charismatic, compassionate, creative. You should add like honest um, and loyal or trustworthy, something like that, yeah. Okay. I'm struggling with that with some of my associates this year. Anyways, let me not get crunchy. I'm a little tired. Let's see. Got some crochets. This is a pretty one that's round with the rainbow. I'm surprised that's still here. That's cute. Love that little girl. Love that. Let's see, here's an honorable mention, because this is good. This this is purple and white, and that's a pretty one, you guys. Wait a minute, let me find the price on that, because some of you might be watching this later. So 36 and some off, I will, of course, give you, and I'll pull that tomorrow. All right, let me back up. Let me back up and look at the chat. I don't see the chat. It comes and goes. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's been a while since I've done anything out of here. A mask. That's a vintage cup. 
And then inside it says a bag of money. It's a bank robber. I can't remember whose that is. I don't want to go around. There is an Atkinson. Is that a fox? Yeah, fox. At Atkinson fox or fox Atkinson, whatever. That's a pretty one. That's one of the famous ones. That's really pretty. I've got 88 on it. And it is true vintage. Almost antique. Okay, i got to avoid this darn speaker. Here's some nice Vost, um, Fenton glasses. <laughs> Uh-oh. I already sold something. Maybe right here. Well, yeah, I don't know. Somebody's buying something that I put there. <laughs> it's gone already. I don't even remember what it was. Hang on. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful vase. It's a crystalline vase. So pretty. Awesome. This is a Longenberger for $6.95 if anybody's into that. This you guys have not seen. I don't think it made it to a video. That's cute. $7.95. Vintage pork top. That's really pretty. Um, one of my rare exceptions for acrylic grapes. Oh, I have so many acrylic grapes, Lorray. You know that, but most of them are my personal collection. But you will see in a video either tomorrow or the next day where yesterday in a hang bag there were some orangey grapes, orangey yellow amber grapes. They're not perfect, but they were $2.99. I said, well, I'm going to get these for one of you guys. They just kind of need to be wired closer together. It's not a real big bundle. It's only about this big. I'd say like this big. It has about mm, nine acrylic grapes that I did buy for you guys just give me a couple extra bucks on it I'm cool and someday I will show you all of my grapes because I have some rare colors okay here's all the hay big pieces some nice ones in there and then some of the more affordable Hager pots, which, believe it or not, there are some Hager people that still love their pots to be authentic back there. Let's see. This was new. Nothing comes between me and my morning coffee. <laughs> okay, you guys. Leaning Tree, Boulder, Colorado. I, did someone say they're out of business? I only put seven ninety five. dollars This is cute, too. A little swirly mug. It's only, but that's got a little chippy chip on it that I didn't notice earlier. Darn it. I'm going to mark that down. Darn, darn, darn. I didn't notice that. Okay. I think this is a, is that a Joanna Gaines? Yeah. Magnolia. Hearth and Hand. Joanna Gaines. That's her stuff. This penguin thing is just cool. It's real heavy, like restaurant wear, and that's nicely etched and painted. Let's see, Grandma. Okay. Let's see if anything more interesting. This is a nice pot. I just put that out. I've got 20 on it. Hawaii souvenir. Someone wants the conch. Are you talking about? Hang on. Are you talking about that? I've got two of them. What was the other one? Okay. This one, 36. It's a little bit smaller, but that's a more special one. I think that's a, what they call a helmet? Striped Cassie helmet. I know what I'm talking about. I did my best. We come over to this one. This one is larger. And I cannot see the price. So this one's a cool one, though. Look at this one. I just add, I just put that in there yesterday. That's a recent purchase. These, you guys, this is art glass. Look at it this way. Those are glass panels, and they're fused, little flower scene. The artist is Pam Peters. I've got 58 on them. Fostoria, six of them. Still have those. Let's see. 
one in the case, this one here, this cool one, or the bigger one, Larray. Tell me, this one or the other one? This one's, to me, this one's polished too, the front. That one. I'll get, I'm watching the chat. I'll pull it and take it home. By the way, you're going to see in a video coming up, I bought some yarn to get your opinion on. Let's see, my jewelry case is in sad, sad shape. Oh, it's in sad shape, you guys. Yes. <laughs> I need to get a hold of that situation. Most of this stuff has been here for a while. Let me look around. That baby picture is so cute. Can you see them side by side? Okay. Yes and no. <laughs> I'll just bring both of them home and send you pictures, okay? This is a new case for me. And the, they only had one key. And so the front desk has to keep a key for when I'm not here. I haven't had the time. Excuse me. I've had the time. I haven't taken the time to run down to like borrow their key and run I have to run down get a copy made and come right back Do you know what I'm saying or leave my case unlocked I haven't done that so that's going to be too hard at this late of time of the day to do it while I'm live what I'll do is I'll pull that one and the other one and take it home okay and then whichever one you don't want I'll just bring back okay let's see where was I okay the John Perry it's almost cleaned out, so I just have one on each shelf, the big ones. I'm not shipping that, though. I'm just showing you guys. Really, I, I don't need to show you because I, I don't want to lose John Perry in the world. So, actually, even though there's only like 12, 14, I, I don't want to ship that. This I would ship. That's a pretty one. I've got it at 58. It's a medium-sized one. I'd say about 16 inches. Wired, of course, Celadon pot. Okay, let me get my bearings. Let's see. This is from England. Those of you that are a fan, this is across the pond little mod mug. Vintage, just cool. I've sold a couple of these. The strawberries are still here. <laughs> Oops, I just got a notification. Hey, you're supposed to go live at 6.30. Because <laughs> I have it in my, cal my calendar to remind me. But I'm not going to do that. This is not a Russell Wright, but it has Russell Wright vibes. Russell Wright style. So it's only $22. I think it's more of a new, a newer piece. Could not find out anything about it. See, a lot of this stuff you guys have seen. German, Stangle, this was a four-piece set. I sold all of them but the big one. This is vintage. It's beautiful. All right, let's see. You know what? Let me grab my purse. There's something in somebody else's booth. Oh, Noritake, but it's clear. Ah, Noritake Perspective, my favorite. But not the clear. I don't do the clear. Okay, guys, hang on. Let me grab my purse because there's something in that booth down there. It's $19, so I don't want to front $19 on a hunch because that's a lot. But I'm willing to buy it if somebody wants to PayPal me. Let me get my purse. You'd have to PayPal if you really love it. You'll have to PayPal me the money. See, plus tax. Plus, like, add $2, okay? So it's up to you. So it's going to cost you, like, over $20. And um, I'll add it to your box. But I do want to show you because it's kind of cool. This person has kind of the same vibe as what I sell. Where, oh, it's this. I thought it was an artist on your Rinconada. It's not. But look how cool it is. I don't know what the peanut butter thing is, but it's $19. Oh, Pence Pottery Peanut Butter Cat 2014. Doesn't it look like... No, I see. Pence 2014. Doesn't that look like... Wait a minute. Pence Pottery... Okay, and then they put that with Sharpie. That peanut butter might come off. Anyways, it's got Rinconada vibes. So, I just wanted to show somebody that. 
just let me know by tomorrow morning <laughs> and uh, pay me in advance. Oh, those are good canisters too. Forty-three dollars. Those are pretty. She's got she or he's got some Hager. Okay. Cool, huh? All right. You guys, as I walk around, is the signal holding up okay? Because let's see, what time is it? We could go shop a little bit. Because I'm that's pretty much. You know, you, I pretty much showed you everything in my booth. You guys can send me a message. Hey, pull that for me tomorrow. I'm going to pull the shells for LeRae. Okay. Let me see what you guys say. Renaissance. 80s, 90s ducks. I want those flowers on the wall, the Brady Bunch flowers. I don't, I don't know. Was it at that other person's booth? I don't really know. I'm watching the chat. I'll walk back down there. If it was in somebody else's booth, you don't have to pay me up front because I don't want to. I don't. I'm a thrifter. I don't pay retail prices because well, that doesn't work for reselling. So let me see. Was it this booth? Oh, oh, I. That's right. I remember. I talked about that. They did that like a month and a half ago. I know they put those decals. Yeah, it made me think of Kate. You know, when Kate moved, she re she decorated her walls. They're just stick on decals. Who knows? They could have been Michaels or the Dollar Tree, even, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's fun. Okay, but oops, sorry about that. Um. Anyways, let's go to Becky's booth. It's just right down here. If you guys think, yeah, if you guys think that it's, um, if I walk slow, let me get my coffee. If the signal is holding okay, because I'm using data, I'm not, um, using their wireless. Okay. Oh, and I still got to pay for this. I forgot to look that up, because I'm thinking this is an older Ray Dunn. I just like it because it says create. I like that artistic temperament. So, um, anyways, let me say hi to you guys. <laughs> yep. Hi, hi. Yes, I've been wearing this outfit for three days. I did wash it last night, though. I had to because I, I was with mom and her doggies, and it had little puppy hair on it. So, it's just these Levi's that I got at the bins years ago. Hang on. See, they got BB holes all in them. I know I wear these all the time for work. It's because they got the holes in them. They're so comfy. They're boyfriend cut. They're baggy. And then this is one of my favorite thin shirts. Okay, we're in Becky's booth. That's what I, I that's what I know. And that's slightly dimpled too, Tori. 32, Can Kanawa, Kanawa. So this is Becky's booth. You know how awesome she is. So if you see something in here, you're going to have to message Becky. <laughs> okay? But I'll show you what she's got. You just take a screenshot and hit Becky up. So here, I saw this. Oh, the whole set. It's a hobbyist piece. But look, it's the whole set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Salt and pepper shakers. These are plastic. The celluloid. Um, there, the suit some of you probably would want. Becky has 18 on it, and there were some little pixies. She's got seven. It has glitter, but I think the glitter will come off. Those are seven a piece. I think I showed this earlier when I was saying, hey, I might go live. That's a cute little glass piece. Ah, oh, I love this. Love. Hey, there's an AR. Yeah. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. All right, let me turn around. Becky's booth is awesome. She just always has a big variety of stuff. Ooh, that would look good with my John Perry. What is that? 
that actually feels like his medium. That resin stuff, eight dollars. Don, it's got a few chips on it though, because he's John Perry is still alive and doing stuff. He just does them in different colors so that you know to be a purist, so you know your vintage stuff is vintage. Hold up, what do we got here? Twelve dollars for the Scaredy Cat Salt and Pepper Shakers. <laughs> yes. Let's see. She's flocked. Oh, I, wait a minute. Yvonne, damn it. Oops, sorry, I just cussed on TV. Sorry. Yeah, that's why, because I'm just leaving my purse out here like, hey, free purse. With a wallet full of money for the garage sales. Ha! Ah, I wanted to look at that. Cat's paws. I'll tell you guys how much it is. Twelve. Well, when it comes to Becky stuff, as long as you guys pay me up front, I'll pick it up and throw it in your box. That way you'll save shipping. Hey, you're going to see the video. I got my first Target bird. Is that a Target bird? That was like a... Oh, that is. That's a Target bird. $8. Okay, Becky. Um, is something missing? Because those sell for more than that. That's a Target bird for 8 bucks, you guys. Target bird for eight bucks, yeah. I'm gonna look that up. Let me think, what's close? So my neighbor's now down to 60% off of everything. Oh, I know. Let's go to Rhonda's where I got. I gotta go slow, you guys, because I'm on data. Where I got that uh, Ray Dunn mug. For some reason, she's having a crazy sale. Let me remember, oh, her booth is right here. Because she's got 20% off. I'm not a big Ray Dunn collector. My husband's bought me a few ones, like, you know, Wifey. And the year that we were, you know, Mr. and Mrs. 2018. The year we got married. See, that's the newer logo. So these are 20% off. Peace. B-U, B-U. I just liked, wait a minute. Yeah. This one's dimply too. Okay, yep. But see, this one's different. And it's got the older font too. I have to double check, or maybe one of you guys can real quick. I'm getting it either way. Either she's repopping her stuff, or this is an older one. Well, I know it is, because it says magenta. Anyways, 20% off $6. That's a yes. Let's see what else Rhonda has. Rhonda's a friend of mine, so I don't mind pulling something tomorrow. If you guys see something you want, just send me the money before I show up. That's usually Polish pottery. She's a little bit different vibe than me overall. But she is very open-minded, you know. Ooh, it's missing the chain, but it still has the hooks, you guys. Twenty-one ninety-five for the little cat family. Oh my goodness! What? And look at this poodle, the pin cushion, fourteen ninety-five. Okay, so you'd have to send me a little bit for the tax, which is here roughly eight percent. Brought me a couple extra dollars for being your personal shopper. Tell me what it was out of somebody else's booth. I'll pick it up tomorrow and put it in your box. Leave it in the comments or put it in a message. Yeah, I really need to keep it on my purse. I have a major amount of money because for garage sale. I was going to try to go to garage sales last weekend. There weren't a whole lot yet. Haha, ha. love this. So carnival. This is so carnival. The create mug is 16. Okay. I was thinking that was a little older style. I still think it is, though. I'm getting it for myself. This person has, like, my style, too. Like, this is my soul sister here, too. Hi, hi. I got my glasses on so I can see. 15.99. I am. Um, 
I don't know. That might be a repop. I've seen repops in here before, so I'd want to be very careful. Now that's not that little poodle, 1995. That's a bit much. Oh, look at the bracelets. Oh, that's where we should go. What time is it? You guys, I can't see what time it is because I'm using my phone. Somebody tell me what time it is. They're open till 6, but I have to be out by 5.45 because I don't want to do all night long with us vendors trying to leave at the last minute. And plus, I have, I'm have i buying these items. I'm buying you guys these. You guys, some of you will get these in your Christmas, in your thank you bags. What time is it? 4.44? Okay. Hi, Liz. You know where I'm at. I'm at the booth. Okay. Ooh, look at the Pyrex. I like the, I like this geogra geographic. No. Hello, geometric or atomic. Okay, I am going to try to go back to the jewelry lady. Okay. So you guys just look. I'm not gonna stop. It's an older Ray Dunn, but still a hard sell. Okay, it's not the real, real older, older one, is it? It's kind of dimply, but not totally. So I have to walk slow, and I have to keep talking because there's speaker upon speaker. But I'm going back into the warehouse. Oh, this lady's booth. This is, it looks like Becky's mom, right? But it's not. <laughs> she just bought Ikea shelving, too. This is Ikea shelving. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. And it's easier. It's easy to put up and break down. And she bought that that uh, cat cat's kitschy vintage back in the warehouse got rid of when she downsized so overall let me back up so overall that's this is just an awesome looking booth prices are prices are fair there's nothing flippable but for personal use her prices are very very fair this is a good market let me give something that we all know to give an example, let me find something that like we all know. Let me look here. Oh, okay. Viking Gregor Greg Gregorian, thirty four ninety nine for a set of six. Yeah, right. yeah. See. Oh, look at the little inky dinkies. This is Viking Gregorian pattern. Yeah. So, so see, it's about on point. Oh, these are pretty. Look at that, all fizzy, bubbly. What are those? Amber Seafoam Goblets, $59.99. Oh, that's some awesomeness is what that is. Well, this is also, does she, does she not know what that is? Just, because if not, I'll tell her. Honeycomb, she's got honeycomb. A lot of people just say honeycomb because when it was popular, um, a lot of companies made this like a honeycomb version. I think I'll... Leave her a note and tell her what these are. Although she has them priced fine. Got some aluminum. Okay. Let's see. Go to the jewelry girl. And then that might be about it. This is Karen. You guys know Karen. She might even be in the chat. Who knows if you are. Hi, babe. Now, Karen hasn't been in. Things are a little challenging around her house I think that's okay if I say that just like around my house but <laughs> she and I are both struggling to keep up with things I will be back on track here by the end of the month hopefully and then you guys are gonna just see me coming in hot with the thrifty throwdown with a panel show with a booth talk let's see is Karen having a sale she just hasn't been in I'm sure she'll try to get in Let's see, yeah, you guys are going to see me focusing. And then, you know, 50% off all crystal and clear glassware. That is because, as beautiful as it is, and as much as people are saying it's coming back, it has to be the good stuff. The really good, some kind of lead crystal um, quality. The Americana and all that Cuba stuff, you can go for it, but you're going to have to price it pretty cheap. It's got to be the better stuff if you're going to um, start to lean into the clear, okay? Let me pause for a moment. Yeah, once I feel good, J-Lab, it's on. Because I have so many plans for 2024, and I've, you know, I've got things in place. Woohoo! 
I'm looking because, you know, Beyonce dropped her Cowboy Carter, so we're going to see half of the Insta Instagram girls and TikTok get their cowboy on. $98, but she's got half price. So you need to leave that up front, and you might have a chance to sell that, sweetheart. So I'm going to put this. <laughs> Rearrange people's booze. You guys see me at the thrift store. Like I said, it, the people on the camera, they're probably like, who's that tall lady? She's always in there acting like she works there. <laughs> Picking stuff off the floor. Hey, you're welcome. I can't help it. I have a little bit of OCD. Like, I just feel bad. Like, I'm healthy. I'm able to bend over. I'm not going to just walk over something on the floor. I just don't know how to do that. I would hope that someone would do that for me if they were in my booth. I know I'm talking down your mouth an hour. That's because of speakers. This lady here does like an oddities. So, just for fun, take a quick look before we head back to the jewelry girl. And if there's something you guys want from her, I will pull it. She has raised her prices, but haven't we all? I just got back from the thrift store on my way here. That video won't be out for a couple of days, but you're going to see me pick up a bunch of Lululemon. But where I normally would pay five, six, seven, eight dollars for Lululemon pieces, I had to pay eleven, twelve, fifteen dollars. Well, but thirty percent off because see the thrift stores they're not selling at those high prices. They couldn't even sell like ten pieces of Lululemon clearly marked Lululemon in great shape because your average thrifter that's that's not. They're not coming there for those kind of prices, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just chit-chatting, you guys. Okay, and I bought myself a new pair of American Eagles that I want to put embroidery and cool patches on. But I want it to look, I want it to look more like embroidery and not patches. Right. So, enjoy the trip, you guys. Walkie, walkie. <laughs> The owner does this kind of stuff, the newer stuff, but that makes it fun for all types of people that come in. And he sells a lot of kids candy too for the kids to keep them happy. And he started selling this beaded stuff, Z59. And you know, that's a fair price. All that beaded stuff, whenever I find it and I bring it to you guys, you guys get a good deal. That stuff's expensive. But in his other booth, down a ways, he's got a whole bunch of it. He's got one that's like a gigantic chicken <laughs> or rooster. It's like gigantic. It's $107. It is so cool. So this makes sense to you guys, right? The rock shop. And I usually pause here and be like, oh my goodness. Look. I'm crazy. I think I'll put my foot in there. Ta-da. See how big that is? 210 pounds. Okay. So those of you that follow me a lot. Those are so good. It's been about, oh, eight years, but I found three of them. But uh, before I could even get them sold, one of my friends saw my video. <laughs> one of my, It was actually my husband's boss's, wa boss's wife. <laughs> Who, you guys, this is crazy stories. Amy told a story. Well, Earth told the story. And so that got me thinking, and it was such a great story, how they met. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you guys. I have a great story, too, about how my husband and I, like, our beginning is so great. And I'll tell you guys sometime when I'm doing housekeeping during a live sale. Vocal! You guys know this brand. Sean, don't look! It's a vocal. This one's pretty. Look at me, though. But Oh, isn't that cute? A sexy little, like, long sweater dress. or Put it over some leggings. See, $60 resale. Vocal is a good brand for resale. This booth is new. 25% off. This booth is new. You're not allowed to have clothing in the main section unless it's vintage. Well, that's cool. This is, uh, oh, Sandy Starkman. <laughs> that is vintage. There's a fun name right there. Um, it's like 80s, 90s, a little bit of Y2K. Lots of fun, whimsical, artsy stuff. If you see that, there's still a market for that. This might be a Michaela. Yeah. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yeah, there's another name that's good for resale. It's held up for at least the last 15 years. 
Alberto McCalley, if I'm saying it right. This is a pretty one, too. This is the pleated, so I'm going to say late 90s Y2K. Pretty. There's some names for you guys that want to do clothing. Hey, I know a lot of resellers, like, they're like, I hate clothing. Hang on. They're like, I hate selling clothing. I'm like, well, you do that because I'll tell you what. You just, there's just a little bit of learning curve, a little bit of a nuance. Yes. Ta-da. Um, here we are, you guys, but let me finish. But it's easy to store. It's easy to ship. And once you know what you're doing, it's not that hard. And some things are a pretty fast flip. Okay, let me take a deep breath. Here we are at the jewelry girl. And then after this, I'll just walk you guys back, and I'll probably be done. Now, she has started raising her prices, but here you go. 15 for that, so with tax, she's, let me check, she's not having a sale. So add a little tax, it's about 8% here. Give me a couple dollars for myself. And if you send that to me and tell me what it is, I will pick it up tomorrow if it's here and put it in your box. Let's see, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I'm look here. I'm looking at the chat. Yeah, she the other one was like a crazy gray and white lace, and I see she painted it or covered it with pantyhose, because it just was not doing it justice. Anyways, I'm gonna look at the chat here for a minute. If there's if you see something that you want me to tell you the price, that's pretty. There, it's about 90% vintage. I see a few newer pieces, but it's about 90% vintage. Oh my gosh, stop. This is kind of like a, uh, help me you guys. Um, Maltese cross. It's kind of like a Maltese cross. And I do those because the suffrage movement, they adopted a Maltese cross. $12, that's for me. That's a cool take. I see the Maltese cross in there, don't you? Oh, I love it. That's I'm I'm getting that for me. I'll pay twelve dollars. That looks like an Avon. Okay, where was I? I'm letting you guys look. Okay, I'm watching the chat. Go if there's something you want me to tell you the price. Is that a micro mosaic? No, that's painted. That's a micro mosaic. I'll tell you how much it is. You guys don't look at my hands. I know, it looks like I'm 90 years old. $12. It's about the size, a little bit bigger than a quarter, but it is um, oval. That's a mosaic. Do you know what I mean? I can't get it to focus. Darn it. Let me try. I don't think it will. Okay, you know what it is. Mosaic. Um, you know what? That one is too. The black one is too. $8. A little bit smaller. That's a pretty looking thing. That's like 60s, 70s looking. That is pretty. 15. Yeah, she's raised her prices. I don't blame her. I always thought she was selling them a little too cheap. I can't tell you. Micro mosaic. Yes. Hi. Hi, Mike, by the way. You guys, I'm sorry if I haven't said hi to you guys in the chat because I'm not really watching it that much. I'm on my phone, impromptu. Da 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 da. -da. Enamel flowers, it would need repainting a little bit, touch up, $8. But it's cute, that's definitely vintage. There's another metal flower piece, $10. I'm looking for what I think is really cool, the kind of stuff that the Thrifty Rich Club, me, you guys usually go for. <laughs> I think, bud. I am proud to say her bake light is still here. Nobody has stolen it. Because I'm like, you set out $30 bangle? So I'm kind of proud of that. Because I've always thought, I've always wondered how much loss does she have? So, yay, Colorado Springs. I'm proud. This is bake light, too. There's a little bit of room left on this, resale wise, but it needs tightened up, restrung. Oh my goodness, look at this. Hang on, let's see if it'll focus. Oh, Denise! Thank you, love. Let me buy that pin for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I don't have a way to do my banner because I'm not on StreamYard. 
Jay, say it again. The chat disappears. It was a face. Oh, this. My back, you guys. The my data does not like it back here in the warehouse. Someone post and tell me if I'm back. Twenty bucks. Okay, I might be in and out. Let's see. We're looking at this. It's so cute. Some kind of little charm bracelet, but I got on a necklace. Look at that. Six dollars. I don't know if that's focusing. Don't pay any attention to my. Look at that. Oh, what does that say? Uh, I can't read what it says. It's got a purple stone in it. My gosh, that's cute. No, it's it's. I'm in the warehouse. Hang on. I'm concrete. I'm surprised that it even let me walk back. I really am. Hey, if you're local, don't miss her booth. I love to catch her. Has been here. Woohoo, that's fun. Look at this little polyester. That's a 60s. That's not even a 70s. I'm thinking by the fabric. That's a 50s or 60s. <laughs> okay. Anyways. All right, you guys. Um. Let me calm down here for a minute and look at the chat and see if there's anything that I'm sending me a message. Send me the money. Oh, those are pretty. Twelve dollars. Look at that one. That's not a hundred percent. That's like retro-ish. Oh, that's so pretty though. <laughs> now that's a vintage. See the Y? Can you guys see the rivet and the Y and all those rivets? How much is that? 20, she knows it. 20 something. It's pretty. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to make a note when I get home. Denise, I'm going to add something to your box. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you, thank you. Can you get the double blue flowers brooch? Okay, hang on. Double blue flowers. <laughs> now you have to help me. <laughs> Was it something I showed? Not that. Oh, the one, this one that needs, that needs, you're going to have to touch it up. Is this one, babe? You're going to have to touch it up, okay? See all that? This is an older one. Yeah, it's got the rivets and the little Y. Light blue on the left. This one, stink bug? Okay. I got it. Eight dollars. So I'll probably just add like ten dollars and put it in your box, okay? Me too. I'm in love with that. Alright, so is ten dollars okay? Because there's gonna be tax and then that'll give me like a, a dollar twenty-five. And I'll just add it to your add it to your box. Alright, you guys. I think I will check messages and stuff if there was something I missed. I am going to work my way back up out of this warehouse. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had that. <laughs> and pay for my stuff. And get out of here so that they don't have to wait on me. Yeah, the warehouse has rows and rows and rows, you guys. <laughs> it's so cool back in here. The ceiling is real, real tall. Like, hang on, watch. Like, super tall, three or four stories. <laughs> okay. All right, I might be moving too fast. I might lose. Tomorrow, I hope to have time to make a video flipping around. But for now, I'm going to go check out. I'm going to go check out, okay, you guys? And, um. <laughs> Sorry, just looking at this stuff. Okay. I'm going to go check out. Let's see if I can. Uh oh. I'm live. You want to say hi to the peoples? Sure. Hey, this is Gary. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> He's the owner. And Welcome to the store. And. 
he also is the one I always tell you guys he has some of this stuff that I know is new and I always say I I don't care because it's for a variety of people. We want a variety of people shopping here and it keeps the kids happy. There like here, <laughs> have some candy. <laughs> candy does well here. It's, okay. it's novelty candy. Yeah, you know it's, fu it? it's fun stuff, I know. It's fun stuff, yeah. Fun stuff. You know, and we're an emporium. We're not just an antique mall, we're an emporium. Okay, you heard it here and first. Emporiums have everything. Everything. I you like know? that, emporium. I do, it's going up on the new sign. Awesome, I like that, yeah, emporium. We're having a sign redone, and that word will be up there, because I think it better describes us than an antique mall. Yeah. Mall. I like it. Yeah, because we're, we're very versified. Yep. Diversified here. Yep. Sorry. It's hard when I multitask. You guys know when I multitask, like, I, <laughs> it's hard to find words. I'm going to I'm gonna go past and show them your big rooster. Cool. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let me see. His other booth, because, you know, he buys the newer stuff when he goes to the shows. Because he and his wife are affiliated with American Furniture Warehouse. And if you're local, you know what a big deal that is. And so he's buying some of the Dale Tiffany new glass. Still not cheap, because it's a quality glass. But it's the Dale Tiffany, you know, it's kind of newer stuff. And a lot of this kind of stuff. Go home and garden. Which he does well. Oh, haha, ha, guess who bought the other four, you guys? This is so funny. This is Jelly Bean's booth. He bought, my, he's the one that gave my mom a deal. Look, he bought the other ones. <laughs> Let's see what he priced them at. $11. Well, Jelly Bean, I'm going to have to have a talk with him. Those are the other four. The other four, they were $3.99 a piece, but they're worth more than that. Okay, anyways, um, here's the rooster. Look. <laughs> this is crazy. How much is it? One ninety nine. That is humongous. <laughs> All right, you got. Oh, here's some little ladybugs. Go oh, look. These are only fifteen dollars. That's a good price. Those are so cute. All right, you guys. Um, every time I come by here, let me get my purse. Every time I come by here, I'm cool. leaving my purse everywhere. I usually walk over to here and try to find the Led Zeppelin and put it up front. So I think when it, yesterday I had yesterday I put that one up Woodstock. I usually try oh there's a Metallica. I usually try to find the Led Zeppelin one. Fish cream oh that's a good one too. These are just you know repops of um, old oh, Frank Zappa. Let's put Frank up. Let's do Frank this time. <laughs> Um, the Beatles are okay, but I'm not really a baby boomer. I'm Gen X. I'm first wave Gen X, so I'm more Led Zeppelin and everything. There. You either know or you don't know. <laughs> Frank Zappa. I can't even tell you the name of some of his songs, all right? All right, you guys. I think that's it. Can you see me over there? I see a mirror. All right, you guys. That's it. I'm going to go pay for stuff. So, um, you're not probably not going to... See me for about a week or so, okay? I'll have my husband post in the YouTube community tab that I'm out of anesthesia, okay? But I'll be in the hospital probably for two days. But don't worry about me. Appreciate you guys. Love you very much. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I never remember how to end these.